it's Tamara from Dr. Gigi Stamps here with another card making and colouring tutorial this week using the gorgeous new image Ballerina Betty. I've also decided to pair her with a sentiment from the Funny Sentiments number two set. So I've already printed this out on some matching cardstock. I've coloured her up in some colours to match this cardstock that I had in my stash. So I've just got some coordinating ones from that set and I'm just going to use some various dies that I have in my stash in shapes of rectangle and circle and a sentiment banner to cut the sentiment out. I'll be then just adding some Nouveau drops in bubblegum blush and ivory seashell to finish off the card. So let's start with some colouring.
So I'll be cutting out the cardstock in rectangular and circle. So I'll be using this one for the rectangle. So I'll just tape that down and then this one for the circle. So I'm just going to line that up and tape that down and take that to the die cutting machine. So I now have my um, panels cut out. So I'll set that aside and I'll just grab my sentiment and get that cut out with my sentiment banner. So we'll tape that down and take that over to the die cutting machine. So that's all cut out now. So I'll place those two end banner dies to the side and just get this all lined up ready to put them on the ends. So I'll grab some liquid glue. I find that's the easiest way to get these down. And I tend to put it on the actual banner parts themselves and then stick the main panel on that. That way you can line it up to be as even as possible on both sides. So we'll just adjust that. Make sure that's stuck down well and we'll do the same for the other side. Just line that up. Just print, gently press down. Make sure that you're matching it to the other side of the banner. And that's the sentiment ready to go. I'm going to attach this rectangle banner to the front, but I only want to use part of it. I don't want to use the whole panel. So I'm just going to grab out my cutting tool and just roughly work out the amount that I'm wanting on my front of my card. So that looks good. So we'll just give that a cut and line that up and that's uh, ready to get stuck down. So we'll grab the glue and just attach that to the front of the card panel. Just attaching it to the left hand side of the card. So I just want to try and line that up so it is even down the edge and top to bottom. Give that a good press down. So with the circle die cut, I want that center to the middle but more kind of towards the top of the card because we'll have that sentiment panel sitting just below it. So just make sure that um, your places are exactly where you want. And I'm going to pop up the circle panel onto the front of the card stock. So I'll just grab my foam tape and just add a few spots of 3D foam tape on the back. And we'll get that release paper off and get that stuck onto the front of the card. So try and center that if you need to stand up to make sure that you and making sure that's centered as possible. And we'll get that stuck down. So once it's lined up, just check and then give it a good press once you make sure that it's in the right spot. So I'm just going to glue Ballerina Betty directly to my circle because it's already propped up. I didn't worry about propping her up as well. So we'll just stick her straight down onto the circle. And give her a good press. Sure she's lined up. Perfect. Now with the sentiment I'm also going to pop that up as well so that it matches in with the circle. So we'll get some 3D foam in a couple of spots on the back of that. Line that up making sure that that's even on all sides and centered in the middle. You can be like me and just wing it or get out your ruler and just make sure that that's as centered as possible. I'm being a lazy crafter today. So that's that done. So I'm going to be using a white card base for today and that measures 15 and a half centimeters by 25 centimeters and I'm going to score that at 12 and a half centimeters. I'll just set my scoreboard aside and grab my Teflon bone folder. 
Um, I like to use this to make sure it doesn't leave any marks. So I'll get that out and give it a good burnish on both sides to make sure I've got a nice crisp edge. So that's the car base ready to go and our panels ready to go as well. Now I, I thought this looked a little bit plain just with the white on the white. So I've decided to grab some matching pink cardstock to go with my sentiment strip. And I'm just going to have a very small amount of a pink border around the edge of that white cardstock. I just think that looks a lot better than just being the white on white. So I'll trim that up. So that is just slightly bigger than that front panel. So we'll glue that directly onto our pink panel. And you'll just see a very fine pink border around the edge of our front panel. So glue that down, just making sure it's even on all sides. So line that up. You can see it's just a very fine border, but it just adds a little bit of contrast there against the white cardstock of our card base. Give it a good press and we'll line that up. And I just think that just makes it pop a little bit more with that little bit of pink. So let's glue that down. Make sure you get a lot of glue on there to make sure it sticks evenly. Make sure you're putting it on the right side and not upside down. And again, we just want a little white border around the edge of the pink cardstock. So make sure it's all lined up evenly and give it a good press. Perfect. Ready to go. Now I just wanted to add some further embellishments onto my card front. So I always get a bit of a scrap paper initially to make sure that my um, Nouveau drops are coming out evenly. So I kind of set that aside because you don't want to smush your card into any wet Nouveau drops. I'm just going to apply a pink up the top. And I always like to just give that a little tap down just to make sure that that Nouveau drop just settles. And I'm just kind of pressing it to make sure that it pushes out a little bit more and give it another tap down. So I want to add another Nouveau drop down the bottom, but I think I'll just test out with my pearl one first. Again, just do a tester on the side and then add another drop up the top. So I did a bigger pink and a smaller pearl. And now I'm going to do a bigger pearl down here. And then I'll do a smaller pink beside it. Again, just give it that little tap to make sure that that settles. Just be careful when you're doing it. You don't want it to slip, but I just find that that actually makes it sit a little bit better on the paper. And we've got our little pink spot. Perfect, and we'll give that another quick tap. That's all done. So we'll make sure we get rid of our little sticky side bit. So this is the finished card for this week. I can't wait to see what you create with Ballerina Betty. She's such a gorgeous card, and I think she'd be perfect for any friend that likes to dance to the beat of their own drum. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment. And if you want to see any more videos from Dr. Digi, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Bye.